Let's look at how to use the resume template, a uh, medium length professional CV template. First we're going to close the previewer window so we can just see the editor. And notice there's a comprehensive set of instructions. And notice that the instruction snippets are included in the individual sections where those instructions apply. Let's start out by filling in our personal information. We put in our name and we put in address and notice we do not change any of the LaTeX code itself. So the double backslash we just leave that alone. The city and state we put in but then the little squiggly brace after that we leave that alone. Similarly when we put in our phone number we do not change the C dot or the dollar signs. Those are all formatting for the template itself. We just want to replace our information or place our information in place of the template information that's there. So again, I want to really emphasize this point. Uh, do not change the LaTeX template coding itself. Only change your content. So notice we don't change the squigglies, the C dots, any of that sort of thing. Alright, let's move on to the education section. You, have, so you can see here in the template that when we compile we have our name up on top and close that little box over there and change the size here. So we have our name and contact information on top and then directly below that is going to be the education section where we put our education in. Uh, notice we had a little tiny error. It's not a big deal. So we can check the log and it says we've got an overfull H box. That simply means that somewhere in this document there the document's a little bit too wide. 30 points too wide. Now, that's not a significant issue. It doesn't show up when we look at the document. And so we're going to ignore this error. So, again, we just really don't... Uh, our goal is not to have no errors in the compile, but no errors in the document. So, we need to remember that. So we use the information that we get when we compile the document to see if there are errors that the compiler catches, but again, the most important thing is that the document be correct, not that the compiler has no errors. So in this 30 point uh, too wide is not a big deal. Alright, so let's go back and look at the education section. It's directly below our contact information and there are the instructions on how to put in the information. Notice that you begin each section of the education uh, part by putting in uh, a header uh, which has the institution, the city and state, and the date of graduation. And so you see here we put that in and notice that we put that heading in here and it generated up there. Now of course your resume should only include things you've done to this point so you might want to put expected May 2015. So again your high school uh, experience and then you just list as items things underneath that you did in high school. Accomplishments, GPA, class standing, that sort of thing. The work experience section is actually very similar. So notice that we have the agency, the dates, the position, and the location. For example, the Center for Academic Achievement, uh, the date, our position title. And then again, we put just as items underneath these sorts of things. Uh, another example there. And remember, we're working with environments, so be sure you put in your end work subsection, end R section. Now we're going on to our honors and awards. And notice that in this section, we simply have listing and dates. 
So we have a new feature called a date item. Now an ordinary item, as you can see, it doesn't put a date out there at the end of the item. But a date item puts the date at the right margin uh, after the item itself. Uh, research and scholarly activities, we see that section here and it's very similar to the previous. Let's look at publications and notice for publications we're simply using an enumerate environment in LaTeX. The key here again is we're filling stuff in and notice that we have some math in the title of one of these sample publications and so again there you use the dollar signs and you use the LaTeX coding for a math entry. Uh, the presentation section is just simply enumerate with items. These are environments. The technical strengths is an example of a table. Again, remember, all you're doing here is replacing content in the template with your content. You're not changing any double backslashes or begin end sections or begin end structures at all. Finally, you'll want to have some references. Name, phone number, relationship, uh, and email so that they can be contacted. So notice we have here a reference item is a begin reference item environment and then we have the information above and then an end reference item. Finally, notice that the share to LaTeX saves everything automatically. That's a very nice feature. So even though we haven't worried about what might happen if the computer died or something like that, we know that it's going to be there because Share LaTeX changes everything we do automatically.